Uganda's Energy Ministry has confirmed the discovery of 30 million tons of gold in Busia as revealed by Energy Minister Ruth Nankabirwa. Significant investment has been registered in mineral exploration and development through Wadagai Mining Limited, which is a large-scale gold project in Busia, Eastern Uganda, which is scheduled for commissioning in December 2023. Gold has been discovered in the following districts, Mbuhweju, Mobende, Namaingo, Karamoja, Zombo, and Busia districts. The minister also highlighted the country's potential in rare earth elements. The rare earth element is one of the critical minerals the ministry is positioning to support the development of renewable energy. Makutu has the potential to bolster Uganda's worldwide positioning among countries with the most significant uh, product production of rare earth elements worldwide. Authorities have also discovered vermiculite at Namekara in Manafwa district. The reserve of high quality vermiculite at Namekara in Manafwa district have subsequently increased from 5 million tons to the current 54.9 million tons. The government has completed phase one of the airborne geophysical survey where preliminary data has been acquired over the Karamoja and <laughs> Under the Mining and Minerals Act 2022, the sharing of revenue will be as follows. Local governments, it has been reduced from 80% to 70%. Sub-counties and town councils, it has been increased from 10% to 15%. Landowners or lawful occupants of land subject to a mineral right, increased from 3% to 5%. And this is to ensure optimal benefits for all stakeholders in the mining and profit sharing across the value chain for both the investor and the country. So the proposed initiatives may include production sharing, state equity participation or a levy tax structure. The country is yet to commence the formation of Uganda National Mineral Company which will manage the mineral resources. The Minister Nankabra said that government is going to adopt the mechanism suggested by the Forum of Parliament of the International Conference on the Great Lakes Region aimed at combating illicit exploitation of minerals and dealing in conflict minerals which include tungsten, tantalite and gold among others. But the million dollar question is will the communities, especially those who live around the mines, benefit from the exact quantities that will be mined by the contractors? Sudir Yarhanga, NTV.